Hi boys and girls, welcome to our vodcast on how to fill out a double bubble thinking map. Now I like using double bubble thinking maps because they're pretty straightforward and clear and the purpose of them as you can see is to show you the difference and similarities between two different objects. So if we take a look at this map here, this double bubble map is going to show us the similarities and differences between plant cells and animal cells. So this is kind of reviewing. So the directions say create a double bubble map comparing and contrasting plant and animal cell organelles. So when you're comparing them, you're giving similarities. And when you're contrasting them, you're talking about the differences that they have. Now number two says the organelles they share go between the bubbles. So any similarities go right down the middle here. And organelles that are unique to each cell are on the opposite sides of the page. So their differences or unique characteristics get listed out here. When you are done, color the differences of plant cells yellow. So that's unique to them. The differences for animal cells like blue, so that color is unique to them. And their similarities like green, because if you make your art teachers proud, you'll know that blue and yellow make green. So the combination of both means that they share something. All right, so this is how a double bubble map works. Okay, so I'm gonna do one similarity, one difference, just to kind of get you started, and then you can move on and do the rest yourself. All right, so uh, we know that plant cells have structures called cell walls. Okay, so that's what we're going to write there. They have cell walls. All right, um, and then on the opposite, we could just write unique um, animal cell uh, organelles, but we haven't really dove into those, so I'm not going to ask you to do that. Another way to do differences is to basically say, well, one thing has cell walls, other thing has no cell walls. All right, so now we stated one difference between a plant and animal cell. And also, what I like to do is I'll put opposites lined up with each other. So if I have cell walls over here, I want to make sure its opposite is lined up next to it. So if I read it, I'm just going side to side and it makes it a lot easier. All right, so those are two, one difference there. You can fill out the other two differences that we learned about and that you read about. Also, similarities, organelles that go down the middle. One organelle that we can talk about is the nucleus. All right, so we know that both plants and animal cells have nuclei because they are eukaryotic cells, as we discussed. Okay, once you listed them, then all you have to do is then connect them to their bubbles. All right, so I'm just going to draw a line connected to that bubble. I'm going to draw a line here connected to this bubble. And then since the nuclei is shared between the both of them, or the nucleus is shared between the both of them, I'm going to connect both of those together. Okay, so that's what you would do for all the differences and all the similarities. Once you list them out, connect them to the bubbles. All right, and lastly, to color code them, to kind of make it easy on you and easier to identify and it helps people learn better and memorize better. Okay, as we said, we're going to color the plant differences yellow. So I'm going to take my highlighter and you can take your colored pencils or if you have a blue, green and yellow highlighter, you can do that. All right, so we have our yellow there. Our light blue for animal cells has no cell walls. So now it's color coded like that. And then lastly, if we combine blue and yellow, we're going to have green. And that green is supposed to symbolize um, a similarity, something that they have in common, like a combination of the two. Okay? So that's your double bubble map. Um, you know, you should have no problem with it. It's pretty quick, easy, and straightforward. So good luck and have fun.